some chicken out of the woods. Mushrooms. Nice pores. Looks kind of like chicken, chicken meat. Creamy underbelly. Orange top. It should be a late summer fall mushroom, but uh, sometimes it grows in the spring, and this particular one grows in the spring. It is growing, you know, right now, spring. Uh, May 12th, maybe. A little band around the edges. It's the only orange one. Bracket kind of orange one. Grows on logs. Uh, I don't know what this is. You know, some grow just on oaks. But they all grow on hardwoods. And, you know, this looks like a hardwood. Just gave it a clean and rinse. Get the little pores. When you tear it, kind of like chicken, chicken meat. It doesn't smell good. It smells like, you know, like a, I don't know. I guess like maybe like you know your standard mushroom. Maybe like a portobello or something. I don't know the mushrooms that people eat. So I'm gonna tear this up, fry it with some chipotle chilies and adobo sauce. Chipotle, chicken of the woods, Alfredo. Uh, one chicken of the woods mushroom cut up and then fried with one can of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce and one wild garlic diced up fried with garlic Salt, pepper, and then some regular Alfredo sauce with some fettuccine noodles. Easy peasy. Very spicy, actually, but easy peasy. Not as good as regular chicken, chicken of, uh, chicken of the woods. It's got a slight mushroom taste to it. Uh, but it's free, and you just go and find it. You know, it's fun finding it, and it's free. So can't beat that. Wild garlic's getting ready to seed out. Let me see what we got for bulbs. If I can get it out one piece. Sweet. So now you can finally see it. Here's one little side bulb. And then here's the other. So there's these two little side bulbs, or cloves, since it's a garlic. And then there's the main one. Ooh, and this one's got a third tucked away in there. Maybe. It looks like it. Yep, there's a third. So I got three side cloves. I'm guessing this would <coughs> spread by seed as well. But I planted, uh, you know, just these little side cloves. So I'm gonna put another, put one of those side cloves in there. Put one over here. Put the third back here. So, you know, hopefully three more will grow there. Unless I'm gonna clean up and cut up the whole of it. You know, it's kind of like a big green onion. And I actually had a fourth side clove. 
kind of see it right there. It's under the skin a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and cook that. Three, three side cloves is good for me. Got the wild garlic diced up. Reduced. Chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Give those a chopping. The chipotle peppers cut up. Giving it a little oil. Then maybe get out some of that last of the adobo sauce. Garlic powder, some Italians, some salt, and some pepper. Give it a stir. So you always want to cook your mushrooms. Uh, chicken of the woods. Other than having that chicken, you know, kind of looks like chicken meat. Most people say it tastes like chicken. Uh, and then some people say it tastes like uh, seafood. Uh, I've never had it before. This is my first time having it. Using the chicken of the woods. So, mushrooms in general are a great source of protein. One of the best sources of, you know, forage protein other than meat, you know. One of the best non-meat sources of protein so it's been close to 10 minutes probably uh, I stirred it a couple times now I'm gonna get some classic Alfredo Very nice. It's got a nice simmer going. I'm gonna call this good. Get some water started boiling. Raging boil. Give it some noodles. Fettuccine. Might just spilled. Pop that back on. Give it a little bit of the water from the noodles. Finish draining it. So I managed to salvage most of those noodles. Ended up with a pine needle in there. That happens. Stayed in there. Can't make it into here. Get 
this is stir. So these are kind of like parboiled noodles. Almost. This is a day's worth of food right here. Pound of pasta. And then, you know, for protein, for carbs, and then for protein, the chicken of the woods. Uh, yeah. I like parboiling my noodles, getting them just about ready. Then, you know, probably tomorrow morning or something, I'll be finishing this up. And the noodles will still be nice, you know. Otherwise, the noodles get soggy. Yeah, so, small can of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce is <coughs> a bit much. What do you call it? Probably just one or two of those, uh, you know, maybe that quarter of that can would have been good. That's some pretty spicy stuff. A little bit goes a long way. This right here, yeah, so to me this tastes like mushrooms, you know, I don't like mushrooms, so I guess I kind of pick out that flavor, you know, it's not an overpowering mushroom flavor, but I can still taste the mushrooms, even with all that adobe, you know, chipotle peppers. So, would I eat chicken of the woods again uh, not unless I had to you know uh, it's definitely not a uh, definitely not a morale or a chanterelle you know it's not that choice of a mushroom but you know if I had to I would you know kind of in that poop hit span situation so you kind of see here maybe the top half is the gills, well, it doesn't, it's not a gill, this is a polypore, but, you know, basically, you know, it's the, it for, you know, functions as a, the gills, uh, the little spores come out of these little holes, and then drift around onto whatever, so what I'm going to do is scrape off these pores, like, you know, this is got a little bit of poor material, but then the rest is just the meat. This was the base of it, you know, kind of the older stuff. So I didn't eat this, you know. These are the tidbits that I didn't want to eat, you know. It's got a little decomposition there. So I'm going to scrape off these polypore material where the spores are. Grind it up. This is shavings. Uh, I drilled some holes in an oak log and this is the drill of it shavings. So I'm going to scrape up these pores, mix it with these drill bit shavings and some water and then I'm going to plug the holes with this you know, combination material. So this is uh, part of a oak tree cut down last summer so it's starting to break down but it's got a long ways to go drilled some I don't know four or five inches deep three egg holes one two three four five some mashed up chicken of the woods with the sawdust from the drill some water I uh, shoved that down in the holes, and then I put in some rocks, you know, a rock to plug the top of the hole to keep little bugs and things from getting in there, and hopefully this will inoculate the log, you know, it's already got this thing growing, some kind of a mushroom, you know, it's not fruiting yet, it's still just mycelial, never know what it'll be. So these things might start fighting with each other. It'll probably be a few years before this thing is the chicken of the woods mycelium is actually flowering, you know, growing the mushrooms. Like the mushroom is kind of like, you know, the fruiting body. So it'll be maybe a year or two before it even sprouts 
chicken of the woods if it does take, you know. Uh, but it'll be a lot more convenient, you know, having it here. So it's just something to do. And then the leftover, I'm just going to sprinkle on top.